Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be opening up another 12 packs of Silver Tempest. Let's check this 12. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Yep. The remaining 12 over there to one side. We are still to pull any full arts or uh, secret rares, alt arts, anything like that. We've got a couple of B stars and a couple of training gallery cards. Nothing major as of yet. So hopefully the look will change in this part of the booster box. Black code card was a good sign. We're starting off with Water Energy, Golbat, Fury Sword Girl. I need that on that. Donphan, Rotom, Bunnery, Dreepy, Sanfi, Fletchling, Professor Laventon Reverse, and we have something good. We have the Candice Full Art, which is actually part of the main set and not the trainer gallery. It's probably our best hit so far from what we've opened which is a couple of triple blisters and we're now getting on towards halfway through the boost box and also an ETB. Oh, another black code card, the look may continue. We have a V-Star, we have a Worker, a Sunflora, a Primordial Altar, Petalil, Litten, Murkrow, Swablu, Rotom for the second time, a reverse hollow Dreepy, and an unknown V. This could be the part of the boost box that I might actually enjoy. Next up, we have the Reggie Drago artwork. Can we get an altar or a full art Pokemon? Love to see the uh, full art Poe. It's probably the chase card after the alt art. Yes, water on this one. Nope. We have Darkness Energy, an Unidentified Fossil, Arachwinid, Stone Journey, Clink, Petalil, Litten, Murkrow, Swablu, and as always, I forget about the Radiant cards, this is our first one. We have the Radiant Jirachi, followed by an Archops Hollow. Next up, we have the Alolan Vulpix pack. Well, didn't get as lucky this time, but there's always the trainer gallery. Or, as we see from the last pack, the Radiant. Obviously, the Radiant Alakazam. Archon. Clang. Claydol. I think I need that one still. Marianne. Indeedee. Baltoy. Sunkern. Quink. A Gym Trainer Reverse and an Arcanine Non-Hollow. Our first non-hollow of this part so far. So we can take that. Lugia artwork. A lot of people, myself included, actually like the artwork on the standard Lugia V more than the uh, alternate art. So they are both beautiful cards. One, two, three and four. We'll guess Lightning. Actually, get one right. Flex Linda, Dracoloak, Lantern, Swirlix, Mariani, Indeedee, Baltoy, again, uh, Sunkern. We have a Smeargle from the Trainer Gallery, which is one of my favourite Trainer Gallery cards, to be honest, which is now a duplicate. And we also have a Kling Clang non hollow. Do the card trick. Love this Pikachu. Oh, it's trying the gallery chance. One, two, three, and four. Water. Can we get two in a row? No. Fighting. Leafy Camo Poncho. Slip off. Lance. That lovely Pikachu. Noibat. Togedemaru. Sandile. Swirlix. A Gunk Reverse into a Frostlass Non-Hollow 
going on however that I need, so not too fussed about that one. Getting to the stage where I'm starting to get a few of the rares as duplicates now. I mean, it was expected from the commons and commons. One, two, three, and four. Well, it just seems to be one in each set, but for some reason I get down to the last few cards. I mean, obviously the secret rares, etc. are a lot more sparse. There's always one non-hollow rare that I seem to uh, be missing. Among Us non-hollow. At the um, like in Brilliant Stars, there was one of the Wormadams which saw everybody else pull hundreds of times. Didn't, I must have opened 100 packs, didn't see it once. But I got duplicates on Full Heart Charizard, for example. Crazy. Uh, Hypno, Honchcrow, Ninetales, Dupider, Ponytar, Venonet, Rolts, Spinder, a Clang Reverse into a Delphox, Non Hollow. Can't remember if I needed that one or not. We have four packs remaining. We'll save the Lugia till last. Start with the Vulpix. One, two, three, and four. We have Grass Energy, Brexin, Lopony, Serena, Stunfist, Vulpix, Snorant, Fletchling, Ferrisseed, a Slurpuff Reverse, into a Fioni Non Hollow. Second half of these packs have uh, dried up the look. Saving it all for that uh, last pack magic with the Lugia. Although, could that be a sign? There is something at the back. Uh, water energy, Ren regenerative energy, I can't speak. Regenerative energy, V guard energy, Smeagol, Esper, Protini. Chinchou, Meditite, a Rotom Reverse, it's a normal V, but we have the Chestnut V, two packs to go, Regidrago, and then we're pulling the old art from the Lugia pack. We can do it. One, two, three, four. Darkness. Gym Trainer, Curlia, Terracat, Pharisee, Smeagol, Esper, Dratini, there's a mirror pack, Jinchow, a Pikachu Reverse, into the Gardevoir Non Hollow. So uh, this is it. We're not going to look at the code card. One, two, three, and four. We're guessing lightning. We have metal, Dragonair, Venomoth, Wallace, Meditite, Jupider, Ponytar, Venonat, Rolts, a Fletchlinder Reverse. Well, it's not an altar, but it is a Metagross Hollow. Unfortunately, that is a duplicate. So the pulls from this part of the booster box were a Metagross Hollow, a Chestnut V, the Smeagol from the Trainer Gallery, an Archop Hollow, the Radiant Jirachi, the Unknown V, and the best pull from it all is the Full Art Candice. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.